Okay, Matt, so this is what we've got. I, I can ping this public IP address. So I get start. Now I'm pinging this from my home network, so home router, over the cable modem. I'm pinging this public IP address, and there it is right there, I'm pinging it. If I go to BGP tools, here's my BGP network. So I'm advertising this address space, 23.138.241.0. It's owned by West Networks, and it's being advertised through GRU. I have a router, my BGP router. So there's my, my peering address, and if I go to status BGP, there, there I am negotiated and advertising my space. Then if I go to my home network, nope, then if I go to the router so then i then so this this router is a br2 pro 5g plugged with an ethernet that goes to this switch the switch has 10 gigabit going to that switch that switch has 10 gigabit that goes all the way over here which is connected to that epx well to this switch well it's plugged into this switch which goes this switch which goes this switch which goes this switch which goes to the epx <laughs> the epx has 10 gigabit going up to this switch with vwan virtual wans that has these three 5g dual 5g domes so i have six 5g domes these are bonded over over uh, out to the cloud or up to the, you know, T-Mobile. Then they go over the airwaves. To our GRU fiber. GRU fiber goes to this access switch or edge switch, which then goes to this EPX that has a public IP address. That's the public IP address that is in broadcasting the BGP slash 24. So I have 24 or 255 IP address, four IP addresses that are being broadcast from here up to the internet through GRU. I'm creating a speed fusion VPN between this router and the router in the conference room. And I'm doing a layer two span of the VLAN that's being advertised out to the internet. So I'm extending over cellular, over speed fusion, public IP addresses they're being BGP broadcasted over fiber. So that all is creating a VPN. Then I, this, that's VLAN 3103. I then span 3103, I trunk 3103 to this switch. And then I plug in my BR2. And that is connected BR2. So I have my BR2, there's my BR2 right there. WAN2, I gave it a public IP address and tagged it VLAN 3103. So that's being pl plugged in with a public IP address directly into that. With that public IP address, I'm on the internet and am able to ping that public IP address from my home network which I demonstrated right here over Cape over the public internet. So this router has a public IP address ethernet over six bonded T-Mobile 5G modems. And tomorrow when we go to the summit, I'm going to have this set up with 10 Starlinks and six T-Mobile 5Gs all bonded together and have public IP addresses at the summit.